Uh, Patrick sends us two quick tips. Uh, he says, these days I'm helping with the production of a lot of hybrid church meetings, connecting the people in person with the people online. I often have to share my screen so two things can't be shown. Notifications and my messy computer desktop. So the normal way to turn on Do Not Disturb is through the control center. He says a quicker way for me is to toggle Do Not Disturb by holding down the option key and clicking on the date and time. That will toggle on and off Do Not Disturb. That is correct. It, that toggles it on and off permanently, though. So be like you. I, I say this to myself. I often forget that I have turned off do not or turned on do not disturb on this particular machine. And then, you know, I'll be here doing something that's not podcasting. It's like, how come I'm not getting notifications? Like, hmm, that's why it used to be pre Catalina. Right. That's what we're on now. Man, John, I am like. Big Sur, sorry, pre Big Sur, uh, it would, if you did that option, click on the date and time, it would just do not disturb you for 24 hours and then you'd get it. Or it wasn't the date and time. It was the little, you know, notification center thing. But, um, but with Big Sur, it, uh, it, it, it's permanent. So I often will use the control center and be like, do it till tomorrow or do it till tonight or whatever. But that's my thing. But you're right. Absolutely right. A faster way, Patrick, if you have to do it in a pinch is option click. Just be, be aware. Uh, his second quick tip. As far as a messy computer desktop is concerned, enabling stacks on the desktop can really clean things up. But the best way to hide is to hide all the icons entirely. There are plenty of apps to do this. He said, I use an app called Hidden Me. Oh, we'll put that in the show. That That's like a cool stuff found. Look at that, a little bonus. I like it. Uh, he says there's a free version and the pro version supports multiple monitor setups. So, ah, oh, very cool.